welcome to the fifth episode of the Lost Media Chronicles. And happy 4th of July, everyone. You know what I love about America? The fact that I have the freedom to wear a red, right, and blue, lay, and drink burr out of my party like a Patriot Cup, and just be free. Free to know that our nation's leaders are doing their jobs. Free to know that there aren't any backstabbing presidents out there. Okay, I'm not doing this stupid accent throughout the entirety of the episode, but you get the picture. And, you know, I wanted to go all out and be patriotic for this episode, so why not? I mean, I'm donning a sunburn, a red, white, and blue lay, the red shirt, with my chest hanging out. Pretty shameless. But you know what else is shameless? The fact that a lot of our nation's leaders just get away with doing some insane things in office and break the law and a lot of the times get away with it. What we'll be going over is a case where there's a lost piece of media that is connected to an incident such as this to one of our nation's most hated presidents. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 18 minute gap in the President Richard Nixon Watergate scandal tapes. Oh, and that's not really beer. That's fruit punch, because I'm a little wuss. Richard Nixon was the 37th president of the United States. He was already famous for having been the vice president for Dwight D. Eisenhower and ran against President John F. Kennedy in the 1961 election. This election was incredibly controversial and was one of the first heavily televised election races. After Kennedy was assassinated in 1963 and Lyndon B. Johnson ran his presidency, Nixon finally won in 1968 and was sworn into office in 1969. Nixon was just as controversial of a president as he was a candidate. Many people, right from the moment he was in office, wanted him sworn out and impeached. While this could be said about any president, Nixon was notable for having the sheer amount of detractors that were just as loud and vocal as his supporters. His escalation with the United States' involvement with Vietnam certainly did not help things. Nixon was notable for his incredibly paranoid nature. He often recorded phone conversations and just normal, regular conversations in general all around the White House. While this is virtually um, commonplace now, Nixon was the first one to do it extensively, and no president since um, has done it to the extent that he did. He was so paranoid that people were trying to track him down that he often became a stressful person to be around. These recordings that he took would soon incriminate him. The 1972 election resulted in the biggest landslide win the nation had ever seen. Nixon was sworn in for a second term in 1973. Not long after he was sworn in, he had several spies break into the Watergate Motel, which contained the Democratic National Headquarters. The spies took pictures of classified documents and planted listening devices. During this break-in, however, police spotted and arrested them. Nixon attempted to stop the investigations to pin him down for the crime. Due to the media circus going on at the time, though, he failed. With the extensive White House tapes at their disposal, Nixon was caught talking about the Watergate scandal at several points on them. The FBI had all the evidence they needed to prove Nixon was, in fact, connected. Not long afterwards, he was facing impeachment, but chose to resign before the process could be taken any further. To continue to fight through the months ahead for my personal vindication would almost totally absorb the time and attention of both the President and the Congress in a period when our entire focus should be on the great issue of peace abroad and prosperity without inflation at all. His successor, President Gerald Ford, pardoned Nixon of his crimes. The scandal caused massive paranoia in the U.S. government, which still hasn't died down today. As I said earlier, Nixon is now one of the most hated presidents in American history. And while he definitely did do a lot of bad things while in office, there are a handful of positive things he did as well. He presided over the Apollo 11 moon landings, which is another topic for a future episode. He ended U.S. involvement in Vietnam and, as a result, ended the draft connected to it. He also opened up diplomatic relations with China after a trip he made to the country. While none of these things could even come close to justifying his actions, he is sometimes unfairly evaluated as a leader. 
He's one of those mixed bag people who cause both positive and negative effects, though admittedly the negative vastly outweigh the positive in this situation. Of the hours and hours of endless Nixon conversations available from the Watergate tapes, there's one section that has gotten a considerable amount of attention. There, there is an 18 minute long himself. gap of silence okay. that is suspected to be wiped audio. And suddenly, the conversation shifts from South Dakota to Watergate. You can see that in the notes, and the gap begins. Since there is a gap in the tape, the notes would then be the backup to that. However, there is very little in the notes about the uh, meeting itself. Some people think that this is a technological glitch, but this is unlikely. Some other theories point to the audio being wiped during a listening of the album Alice's Restaurant by Arlo Guthrie. This album is 18 minutes long, which is honestly the only connection I can find to this being relevant at all, so I'm going to move on. There are many theories about what Nixon was talking about during these 18 minutes. These subjects vary from talks of launching nukes at Russia, dirty talk with his secretaries, and many, many other theories of dubious plausibility. The most famous theory is the conspiracy theory that, like many conspiracy theories, this was connected to the Kennedy assassination. E. Howard Hunt is considered to be one of the people involved in Kennedy's assassination and is suspected to maybe being the gunman. It is said he was going to publicly confess at this time and that the 18 minute gap was Nixon talking about what they were going to do to keep Hunt silent. The most likely theory though is the 18 minutes were either trivial conversations that were wiped by mistake or just more incriminating Watergate material. Modern day technology is apparently getting closer and closer to unwiping the tape and recovering the erased gap. Uh, However, the until the day comes that, that yeah, this is uncovered, the, the this is remains an another piece of lost media that will forever keep conspiracy uh, theorists beating dead horses. Now here's some food for thought for you conspiracy theorists out there. If this were one massive government controlled conspiracy, we wouldn't be able to get this information out. I wouldn't be able to get this video out to you right now. The information would be controlled and anyone who tried to get that information out there would be arrested or killed or some horrible thing would happen to him, like a katana-wielding idiot in a presidential mask just taking you off to a faraway land. Don't worry. We're going to help cars free. Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly...